I can't say, hey, Carl Francis, what's up? Because I have to go, hey, Carl Francis, what's up? I'm all right, mate. Which How is you? strange, I'm, because you're usually over there. Yeah, I'm usually over there. Yeah. What are you doing over here? I'm on uh, on vacation. I thought I'd come over and see Germany. And uh, you. But now I'm making you work. <laughs> if this is work, then I'm, I'm all right with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard you have a big pen. Yeah, I do. It's, Where is it? It's bigger than yours. So. You haven't seen all my pens. I haven't shown you all my pens. <laughs> that is true. Does a Sharpie count? Yeah, I guess it could, yeah. It's thick. <laughs> Damn, that's big. Okay, moving on. Uh, hello, the people out there, not just in France. Don't sniff these either. This is what happens to you. That's what it's for. Or le for, as they say in Holland. So, today, the nice people from Hyperactive, which you don't know what that is, that's a distributor. You don't care. Um, <laughs> sent me a comet pedal. Um, by mail, not by Comet. God, I am not funny. Um, comet make awesome amps. Apparently, Carl just told me something about train wreck. And then the based old... Based on a train wreck circuit. The, old, the, the Comet was... Um, Ken Fisher was the uh, guy that designed the train wreck circuit. The late, great, the late great Ken Fisher. I know nothing. Oh, my God. And you said the original Comet amps were very expensive? Uh, yeah. And now they make them again, but someone else? I don't, I don't know. But amps, good. Now they have a pedal called the Coda. And smack that on Carl's face, Leslie. There we go. That's much better. Um, let's go through it. Um, this is the stompy stomp. When you push that, this light lights up. Now, Carl, behind the pedal, tell us, wouldn't it have been better if that had been the O? I reckon, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Someone missed, they did miss an the they missed opportunity there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so... um. It goes click. It there's a. You hear that? Oh yeah. What does that have to do? Uh, everything's centered here. Wait. There's a clear clunk mm. when it turns on. When you turn it on. So, um, you're looking at a pedal that has technically four level knobs. We have a drive, which is not drive, which is not gain, because this is drive, this is gain. And then you have level for the output stage, and you have volume. So this is not a pedal that you sit in front of and immediately get. No. What's happening is drive is kind of like an input gain like on a preamp. It's the overall how much you're feeding the pedal. It's not distortion. It's like a preamp level, but not drive, not gain. No, but it's drive, not gain. What? It's like a preamp on a board. You don't want it to distort, you just want it to be louder. Yes. But, but, but it also means if you're feeding the gain more, you're going to get more gain out of it with more drive. Again, it's not easy. <clears throat> gain is uh, gain. <sighs> volume is the output volume. That's the loudity. Level you can turn on and off, which is simulating something about op amp. I don't know what that is or what they do. I'm not a technical guy. Ask Colin Scott. He knows his shit. Um, level does, uh, for, the, for the output stage, simulates how a tube amp power amp behaves. So compression and thickness and the <coughs> kind of a sound that a power amp makes when you're feeding it too high. That's, that's the technical term. The yeah yes I've seen that printed in actual books yeah the power and <laughs> um, <clears throat> so uh, treble and bass are knobs and then you have a high cut which I'm gonna assume cuts the highs in three di in three different steps from no step to one step to two step which is also a dance um, 
we have tons of amps. We have this Bola Oz, which is strange looking, but oh so good. Oh, I love it. It's just so wow. Listen to it with the... <clears throat> Rev Dynamics going into the ox with a uh, cream back loaded 412 simulated, and then behind car we have a 112 by La Boga with a cream back loaded mic with a Lewitt MTP 440, which are mixing in uh, to the simulated signal from the ox. Starting with the clean sound from the Dynamics, which sounds like Le So. <laughs> My first real six string. <clears throat> Prayed with my fingers, man. Was a summer of 69. Doing the thing with the. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> on the single chord, let's stay there. So I'm going to try things. I'm going to dial gain back. I'm going to leave the output stage off and. He, there's a lot of this down, this up, this up, this down. There's a lot of juggling. It's a pedal for jugglers. Oh, I like that it doesn't really blow up. That's a good usable EQ in the full range. I never know what I'm playing. Let's do Raga. I don't know. Um, <laughs> treble. Woo! So treble like in, in the what range? Let's do the treble and then high card. But the high cut must behave differently than the treble, because why have a high cut if you can just roll the treble back? Yeah. Right? It, it needs to be something different than treble. <laughs> Tough to say. So, we're going to crank the drive. like that. Just more goodness. Just more. Ooh. I like it. Really like that. That's his. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's asking me to be, you know, dirty and nasty. Nasty. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm playing stuff that's just like half steps and um, it just wants me to freak out. Mm -hmm. it's, and I love it when the sound's asking you to do that. Come on! Aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> And that's just with the drive. Now I'm gonna keep the drive here and now show you the difference between drive and gain.
I don't know the difference, but there is one. <laughs> Obviously, they work in tandem, so I'm going to give it more input. Describe it, but it's good. Yeah, it is good. It's not too much. It's 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 subtle. When you play single notes, they fizzle a bit. When yeah. you play power chords, it really goes, you know, nuts. can do here. I have a hunch on the detail we're gonna need that, the high cut. Changing keys like crazy. Um, <clears throat> so let's go to what the output stage will do with that sound. change gets more you have to do exactly that by the way if you want to symbolize that would that be in the technical manual as well because see that's the mids that's like the low that's the high and that's the yeah it's true Midzy now. Can I control that? Okay. Take a while to master that. Yeah. Let's do this. And there you have fuzz. Yeah. You have a slightly fuzzish, blown up power amp kind of a sound, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Een hot note of zo weer. So, yeah, you can get that really blown up Marshall on 14 kind of a sound. Um, so, having said all that, Dietzel Powell, no. Vox AC30, sounds like so. No, it doesn't sound like so, now. Whoa, that's a lot of, what are you Brits doing over there, come on. And that's where the high cut comes in. Yeah. Oh, wow, that just... comes that, that fizzly power amp yeah. in again, but at a controllable le volume. Okay, um, Dietzel Paul, bright, spanky, with this guitar, very bright and thinner. Let's see what we can do. Bass in, this off. Nice, well, I have the high cut in because... It's gonna be funny turning it off because see what happens. <laughs> see, I expected that reaction because <laughs> you forgot what it actually sounded like, right? Yeah. Whoa. That's night and day. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's pretty damn impressive. Um, if you want to turn your very twinish sound into that. Yeah. Of course, I have the bass all the way in, but that's what it's for. Um, moving on to, uh, let's do the Karl Martin Custom Shop 50. Need that much high uh, high cut? I just got some more high. Wait, maybe I want to keep that. Nice. 
V40, always kind of a little problem child there. With this guitar, it's nice. Power amp definitely adds a lot of mids, which in this case, no. not recommended. Um, we don't need a high cut, I think, because if the victory is lacking one thing, it's high end. So. Got more uh, orange rocker verb 50 on clean. Sounds like orange. I mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't necessarily go turn that power amp off because we already have a lot of mids there. Weird, here it behaves differently. Uh, no, it still does it. Um, so, let's do some of that. Yeah, with the orange, not the best one, right? I think the midge of that pedal which is already very focused in a certain uh, frequency, yeah. is exactly kind of where the orange is. Yeah. And I think it's just too much. So maybe if you're playing an orange, which is very a very specific kind of frequency response, it's orange. Uh, <laughs> orange is a frequency response. But it, but it is, right? We, yeah, yeah, it's a frequency response. <laughs> um, not happening so much, I think. Oh, Jet City Emilia, now we're getting into pushing amps that are already l driving. a little bit in this case not enough to go whoa but nah. I got the bass all the way in no 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 um Friedman small box is already on the drive uh 14 but since this is a pedal that gives you the power amp Edition, yeah, it's probably more a put in front of a clean amp pedal than a drive a already driven amp. Yeah, I'd possibly. What do I know? But I mean, <laughs> that's the Friedman by itself. <laughs>
apa Wait. I like, I like. That's too bright now, especially this guitar is very bright and then Thinner now and much. It likes that power amp. pedal that is amp dependent uh, we have one more which is the La Boga DS50 <laughs> very empty in the mid mm -hmm. and I think this can help Song. It's, you know, mm, mm. Okay, we've done loads. Um, so, what do you think? This is not an easy one. I think it's really heavily influenced by the original train wreck circuit, definitely. I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Hey, Leslie, can you take that stick and move it in between us? Not the stick, but the pedal. And twist that stick. Twist the stick. There you go. Grow it, baby. Oh, yeah. Make it even bigger. <laughs> the pedal. Leslie and Lisa, the two L's are in there, laughing for reasons. That, why would they be laughing? We're doing a pedal video. Yeah, it's, it's a serious thing. Yeah, they don't understand that. Oh. Women. What can you do? Can't live with them and sheep can't cook. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a horrible line to say, but I just, I wanted to because it's... Sheep can't cook. Uh, <laughs> but you can cook sheep. You can. Sorry, Caroline. Sorry, Sonia. I love you guys. Okay. Sue, all of you. Okay. All three of you. <laughs> all three women that are watching. Um, I was really happy that there was a Carmen watching, but turned out, turns out Carmen is a guy. Oh, that's different. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry, Carmen. I was. I would. I had high hopes for you. <coughs> um. It is. Where, where were we? Um. It takes quite a bit of juggling of drive, gain, output, stage level, and volume. Yeah. You have to know your amp. And it is also highly amp dependent. 
Definitely. definitely. Um, not necessarily compatible with every amp. But with most of them. Mm. With, some of them, with some of them, it really retained the amp character. With others, not so much. Well, once you dialed it in with the, uh, the small box, it, it was far better. Yeah. I mean, it really worked. The small box was already pretty damn killer. Oh, yeah. And then this made a killer amp better. Mm -hmm. um, the diesel was day night. Yeah. So... If you have a twinish kind of amp, this could be killer. Definitely. To turn it into something ballsier, um, rounder, thicker. So, what's the verdict? It's tough to say. Where are we is going? it a good pedal? Yeah, it's a good pedal, but... Who is it for? Hmm. I think you're a bluesy type player. I, I think it lends itself better to blues. Yeah, that kind of. It's it's not your metal pedal, obviously not. not. Metal pedal. It's overdrivey. It's for those thicker cleans. If mm -hmm. you keep the gain down, put the drive up, put the bass in. It can be a thickener. I think this can be a lot. It can be a game changer, not game changer. Game changer. It can be a thickener. It can be a pedal where. Uh, at the stump of your foot, all of a sudden you have something that sounds like you cranked your amp to shit. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're like, and then you go, bam, and here's my nice sound again. Um, which you wouldn't be able in a small club to go over to your 100 watt Marshall and go and blow it up. No. And this can actually get that. So um, it can be a high frequency tamer. Yeah, of course, you can go and use an EQ for that. I think it has a lot of uses beyond just the driving yeah um clocks in at 300 bucks Whoa. yeah <laughs> but okay, that was a shocker <laughs> but it's super high quality i gotta say that um the uh, the little things like where the um the nine volt is secured from the outside it's not just through the hole oh right okay, okay stuff yeah. like that um the little things that that to me matter. It's all uh, top mounted ins and outs. I know Sean and you guys. Nee, is the top mounted really so good? Nee, 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 nee. Um, how about you shut your trap and just repeat after me? Top mounted's good. I'm gonna go with him. Top mounted. I like top mounted. Top mounted's better. Yeah, I like to top. Um, no, mm. um, <laughs> and uh, who wants to go in one side and then the other? You wanna go. In one, out the other? Yeah. That's weird. No. Um, uh, we're gonna, it, I think it's a great pedal. At 300, you got to be the guy that actually, I think, really wants that output blow-uppiness, which is the kicker that this pedal has. And it does it extremely well. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you also have to consider made by a small company, probably made in the U.S., I'm going to assume. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking definitely the U.S. Yeah. Um, so... You get what you pay for. It's a high quality pedal, and it is something I gotta say that is very unique in its internal gain structure. I, I, I haven't had a pedal where you have that much control over all the little, a little bit more here for the fatness, but then a little bit more drive here, but then more blow upiness here, and then yeah. over. It's it's pretty unique. So um, check it out with your amp if you can, which means order it at Toman. I heard it's a good store. Um, it's okay. Send it back if you uh, if you if it doesn't work for you. But uh, I think it definitely warrants checking out and playing around with. Definitely, I I, did, I think so. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go with links below. Subscribe because otherwise you're lame. Um, have you subscribed to my channel? Yeah, I did. How did that feel? How did it make, make you feel, hitting that button? I got fizzy in this hummy. Yeah, I was like, oh. Good? A good yeah, kind of feeling? Yeah, good feeling. Not like, oh, God, I got to go. But no, it was a... Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. It might make you come. Who knows? <laughs> he did. Um, <laughs> I know this is so inappropriate on so many levels. Oh, it always is, though. Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> they know what they're watching. If they're here for the first time, I'm so sorry. I really am. <laughs> um, oopsie. 
Um, you expecting serious? <laughs> Go elsewhere. Yeah. Hey, they just hurt this pedal pumped into I don't know how many amps. Where else are they going to get? They're get, never going to get it. They're going to have to sit through some bullshit to mm-hmm. get to the goods. Um, hey, thanks to Bola for this awesome guitar. It's pretty. Um, yeah, patron people, you roll and rock. And also everything in between. I don't, I don't know what's in between. I don't. And also then the thing with the animals, which come uh, at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're not in here because they were the ladies. Ladies are better than us. <laughs> Yours is better than you, and mine is better than me. There's no question, yeah, there's about, no question that. about that. Yeah, it's no. just the way it is. That's just the way it is. You heard it here. Uh, thanks, Carl, for hanging out. Um, you guys go away now. Bye. <laughs> Pedal's still there. I can I can wave it all I want and no one's going to see it. Do nasty, inappropriate things. We should do stuff behind the pedal. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. No, no, you should do. Let's make out behind the pedal. Come on. <laughs> oh, my life. How you drowned me in love's warm embrace. Think of it all my life. How even beauty could learn from your grace There's a bond unspoken You cannot see or break Always with me, eternal You only give, never take